Hi, my name is Shagun Mehra. I'm a gastronomic explorer who's now been let loose in the wild to live the farm life. The aim of my farm life is to see all the gorgeous fruit growing across fruit farms and pick some to make myself a delicious picnic for one. So drop that pizza, pick up those sunglasses and come with me. Because at this picnic, the sun is always shining and the food is always fresh. So today I'm headed to Sindhudurg. Sindhudurg is on the coastal Konkan belt. It is a kaleidoscope of lush green coconut palms and blue seas. So today I'm going after the king of fruit, mango. Back in the day, we'd always eat armrests with a cube of thanda ice. Let's see where inspiration takes me today. Salmon Farms is one of the small run family farms in the area. Salmon Farms is run by Mahesh Salmon, who is a third generation farmer and a former Sarpanch of the area. The reason I'm going to this farm is because Mr. Mahesh Salmon has a magic mango tree. Five different mangoes living happily on one tree. And that's what I call a lesson in harmony. Namaskar, Samanji. Namaskar, man. Thank you, Aapne. Come on, I've come to my house. You can see that the trees are the same. How many types of trees are there? The trees are here. I have 25 varieties. Mangoes, especially my favourite Totapuri, actually start coming into season as early as January. Are you serious? I can't climb a tree. This tree is special because it has been grafted with different varieties and also covered up during the winter months to keep the fruit warm. Because of that, the special crop is sweet. The cold weather concentrates the sugars and makes the fruit sweeter. Early bird catches the sweet worm. Which idiot said patience is a virtue? So I have my mango, but I still don't have a dish. I should really be getting up and looking for more ingredients. Oh my god! I guess I don't have to go looking anymore. So I've decided to make a mango and tender coconut salad with some chilli prawns. And it takes just about 10 minutes, as much time as it takes for me to finish this Minute Maid. So for this amazing salad, I've got mangoes, boiled sprouts, lemon, jaggery and tender coconut. That's my first step. So I take all these elements and I put them together in a bowl. So for that, I'm going to chop my tender coconut into small pieces. So I'm going to put all these in this mixing bowl. Some mangoes. Love to use my hands. Mmm, so divine. A little bit cheap. Mm. My boiled sprouts. And I mix that well. Put it aside. And take a sip. Mm. Look at this view. Mm. Wow. So I need to chop some coriander should be enough. So the next step is to make the dressing. So what I've got in the dressing is some fresh lemons. So I press them. Always helps when you press them a little bit. And the juice just kind of flows out. I've got this in. Squeeze it out. And half lemon more. So I like it nice and cut up. So this will balance the sweetness of the mango. I've got salt. So I've got a little bit of lal mirch, chilli powder. And I've grated some black jaggery. Good. So instead of just refined sugar, it's nice to use black jaggery. And in go 
these three things, I have to make sure that my jaggery is properly melted. Tasting again. Ooh, that is exactly what I wanted. Zingi, khatta, mita, it's perfect. So I pour that inside, mix my salad well. So I'm now going to temper my salad with some oil, mustard seeds, curry leaves. So that will add that tadka in the end, that Indian tadka in the end. So I'm going to let the tempering cool and then in the end I'm going to put it on top of my salad. So the only thing that's left now is actually the last day. So the prawns are marinated with a squeeze of lime, some paprika, chili flakes, salt and a little bit of pepper. And I left that in for exactly 15 minutes. Prawns don't take long to cook, luckily. And I'm starving. No picnic is complete without a happy drink, which is what I'm trying to make, but not that kind of happy. This is PG-13. So I'm roasting some cumin seeds for my spiced mango and pineapple drink. I'm going to take it out on the chopping board and I'm just going to coarsely grind it. And I've got my Sikawa Jeera powder, which is going to make my drink nice and fragrant. So for my spritzer, I'm going to first add some nice Minute Maid mango juice, some pineapple juice, half and half. My Sika Wajira, my roasted cumin seeds, and green chilies to zing it up. Don't be afraid to add the chilli and in the end I'm going to top it with some soda for me to have some bubbles, love bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Now let's pray and voila. To first please with the eyes. So pretty terracotta plate with a nice banana leaf, very, very tropical, perfect for this kind of environment. And look at my beautiful prawn skewers. Mm. Now isn't that just perfect picnic food? So that's toodles for me. This is so good, really. Farm life is great for the soul, but it's tough on the feet. So come relax with me right now, but do not forget to tune into my next episode only on Array.